No, I'm having a hard time getting Desiree on right now. She's Desiree Roma? Yeah. If you can make sure you get lights off when you're done.
Right. Okay, you there? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, I had no idea. I was like, I'm waiting, 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 and I'm like looking for you, looking, and realizing like my whole thing shut down. I'm like, maybe this is all my fault. <laughs> I have never done this before, so okay, here we are. I didn't even know I was going to be showing, so I'm glad I'm. I know that's why. That's why I was like when I told you, I'm like, do you need to shower? <laughs> Oh my God. I didn't. You didn't warn me about anything. Whatever. If you, I mean, if you want to do it another time, it's only no, a twenty-minute interview. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> this is we're doing. It. I'm not doing this again. <laughs> okay. All right. Because okay. everybody that's I'm gonna see. Everybody that's gonna um see it, <clears throat> we'll see it live. So basically, this is the way it's gonna work. Is um, I'm gonna be <clears throat> through my network. And through some of the other people that are on it, we're going to be sharing the link to this. And what it's going to be is it's going to be like six to eight women, maybe max ten. I've already, I think, done um, five or six. I've already done five or six. So it might be closer to eight or ten. And they're women in all different businesses. They're women of all different ages. In fact, I actually really want to try to find somebody sort of in their 20s that's doing really well because um, right now everybody's like 40s, 50s kinds of age. But I want to uh, – the message really is that – Women can raise a family, raise children, and have a career. That's it. I mean, nobody's mentioning any companies. Nobody's mentioning any products. I mean, at the end, of course, I want to tell people how to find you, and if you want to say that they can get your videos, totally fine with that kind of thing. But like I'm talking about like me with network marketing. Like nobody's mentioning any – like it's not a recruiting tool, right? It's just a tool to just – empower other women who are thinking about starting their own businesses, have businesses and are frustrated or stuck because they feel like they can't have time because their kids are demanding to let them know that there are other people, other pioneers who have paved the way. That's the message. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to introduce you and then have you tell a little about, you know, of yourself, of your story, and then I'll just ask you questions like, you know, Desiree, you know, how did you do it? You know, how old were your kids when you went back to work? Why did you decide to stay home with them when you stayed home with them? You know, uh, how long did it take before you felt like you felt comfortable going into the workplace again? And, you know, you know, how old were they? You know, just, well, we'll see how the conversation goes. Okay. And then one of the things that I would love for you to talk about, which I think is important with you, with you right now, is that... Even though you feel like you have um, done most of your own business building after your daughter uh, has grown, what I think is super significant is that she's seen you be an entrepreneur. And she did not pick a 9-to-5 job to go into. So that's a really good message to get across to people because your daughter is going to kill it. And whatever she decides to do, and she's going to do it because of the sheer love of doing it, and she's been blessed by watching you do that. So I don't know if you, you know, understand what kind of impact that that is, but it's huge. I'm just gonna, you could interview Jessica, but unfortunately, she has not is not making any money. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, the point is, yeah, I mean, the point is, is that here she is following her dream, right? Yeah. Because she's seen you do it, even though maybe you didn't realize you were having an impact on her. Right. Yeah, I see what you mean. Instead of thinking that you're taking away from them, maybe you're setting an example. Exactly. Like when my daughter, you know, sees me like on stage in front of people, she'll like walk up and be like, can I talk? And she'll grab the microphone and speak to 500 people because she's got the confidence and she sees her mom getting out there and doing what she wants to do kind of thing. And I think that's a really important message to give women. Yeah. Okay. And I'm going right. to temper it with, I think that women should pay a lot of attention to their kids too. And yeah. I don't regret that I stayed home and I was very present in their life at their schools and I didn't have to hire anyone to do that. So Right. Right. That's kind of important to me, but I'm pretty old fashioned, so you know. Well, go ahead and say that and then I'll come back and tell you what I'm doing too, because I don't I I hired for a babysitter for the first time in my life last week. Like I still, you know, completely do my thing that I do, but I try to incorporate Madeline into everything. And I last year she went on you know, 25 flights with me. I took her around with me, and she was like my little sidekick. So I totally see your point of view, and I agree with it. Um, but at the same time, somehow I've been able to figure out a way to wake at work, and I've used my husband too. You, I mean, you were a single mom, so um, we'll have that dialogue. Okay. Okay. All right. Hey. All right. Hi everybody, this is Haley Hobson and I am super honored to have one of my favorite women in the world and yoga teacher on with me today, Desiree Rumba. She is a pioneer. She is an amazing, amazing woman and one of the most 
popular yoga instructors in the world right now, people traveling all over the world to see who she is, and she's a woman who has raised children, she's a woman that stayed home with her children, she's a woman that has developed her own business and is now internationally traveling all over the world herself, and I want to give you a little taste of her today. Thank you, Desiree, for being on with me live today. Thank you, Haley. It's a pleasure yeah. to share. It's such a pleasure to have you. So will you tell everybody a little about your story and you know what you did raising your raising your kids? Yeah, so my kids were born in the early 80s and I was a stay-home mom because we moved right away. My husband got a good job as a corporate executive and so we moved and it was easy to stay home and I didn't really know what I wanted to do back then but then slowly but surely I knew I wanted to do something so I started teaching aerobics and that led to yoga. <laughs> the classic 1980s story. Uh, and then I kind of wanted to open a yoga studio and so organically I started to work a little bit more and that was a good business for me to own a yoga studio while the kids were going to school when they were like seven and nine years old because I could be very involved with them and work around their schedule and that was important to me. I even homeschooled for a little while. Oh wow, I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I was very involved in their school, like I would teach dance and yoga in their school so I wanted them to have a mom be present when I knew their friends and all. But then uh, in about 1999 I started to get invitations to go teach elsewhere and that was when they were in high school already and so after as they moved through high school I started to be able to take more of those weekend uh, invitations and then the traveling business grew. So tell me when they were smaller when you had your yoga studio like what what made you at that point even want to go I mean you're, I know that you've been so proud of like being with your kids all the time and raising them when they were young and really being a hundred percent there like what was the drive that you had that made you want to do something else besides raise your kids? That is a really good question. <laughs> It, that's a really good question. I think something in me always wanted to be an expert. I wanted to be seen as someone knowledgeable that could answer questions and motivate and inspire people. And it, it, it was felt like such an honor. And then for some reason, it clicked. It just kind of organically happened that the invitations started coming. And so at that time, though, I mean, it all coincided with getting a divorce, too. I have to be honest that there was a motivation to make it on my own bigger than the studio. And so that's the way it works sometimes, you know. And with the divorce comes joint custody, then your week every other weekend is free and the, the dad has the kids and so then I could feel a little less bad about leaving them. So that's my story. I'm sure I'm not the only mother that's ever had to navigate divorce, single parenthood, working as a mother. Right. I think yeah, I think there's a lot of women out there that have to navigate figuring out how to bring in their own income as a single parent. I think there's also a lot of women out there that definitely want to be 100% present in their kids' lives, but also want to make some type of contribution to their household, even if they're not being the bread earner. And some women have a desire to, you know, want to contribute equally to what their husbands are doing, or maybe even make more than their husbands. And there's all different kinds of women out there. And, you know, for me, I've always been the kind of person who, you know, I was sort of raised by my parents as if you had to go to law school or you got to go to medical school because there's no other way. You can't be a professional unless you do that kind of, you know, it was like that sort of same time period where you, those are the only options as a career, you know, to make money. And um, I did it. I went on that path and I hated it. But I don't know, something in my, in my brain from being raised by them made me believe that, I was always going to be a contributor no matter what and you know I, I didn't get married until I was 30 so that was like later for, mo for more people and I felt like I needed to be able to support myself up until I got married and then by that time it was already obvious that I was going to be supporting myself and contributing to you know our household um, but there's always been some type of drive in me to, to want to be independent just like you and I think that you know, what I want to, you know, hear a little about is, let, and I think others do, is, is what kind of motivates people, what motivates us to go after what we love to do when, when we have a choice. I mean, there was a time where you didn't have to do anything. There was a choice, you know, a time where, you know, you probably could have spent like 100% time with your kids. How old were they when you got divorced? 14 and 16. Okay. But you still had the studio way before that, so there was like a drive before that to open up the studio because it was something you wanted to do. It was a, it was your heart, right? You were following your heart and your passion to do that, right? I think some people are born wanting to work, and some women prefer want to stay home and be a homemaker. And I was born wanting to work, but then when I got pregnant the first time, 
I felt like I shouldn't go to work. I, I should stay home. It was a should. I had a big should, you know, and I wanted to be a good mom like my mom was. So I'm, I don't regret staying home because I see how valuable that was. Now that I've been there, done that, and I'm at this age now, I think women who are lucky enough to not have to work and like not having to work are just super lucky, and they should really enjoy it. But I had this drive, and I needed to follow my own heart. Yeah. And I think that a lot of people that are probably with us today are the kind of people who do have a drive because they're here wanting to know how other women have been able to do it, how other women have become successful, how other women have been able to manage having children, having a, a, having a spouse, having a dog, having a house, whatever it is that you've got. Some are single, some are not single. Like how do people do it? And what I've heard you talk about is that you are – your your drive comes within you want to you want to educate you want to share you want to be an expert at the same time you want to be a mom so you were able to figure out how to do both because it's just what you wanted to do so you followed your will and you know one of the things I've seen with you because I know you is that even though you felt that need to be a state you know the stay at home mom that you were at the younger ages what I think has been so awesome knowing your daughter now too a little bit is having her watch you be the entrepreneur that you've become and will you tell us a little bit about like you know what our kids see when they see us doing our things yeah I have to say to the viewers that she complained a lot when uh, she was younger you're always on the phone you're always on the computer you know because I didn't even start with the computer until 1999 with email, <laughs> but that's like when they were in high school, and that's what she saw. You're always working, you know. But now, I guess he's always working. Because <laughs> my, daughter, my daughter's like, "Look She's, at me! Yeah, <laughs> Look right? at me!" Guess who's too busy? Because as I see nowadays, most women don't really have that choice. It's the majority don't. They have to work. It's not even. There's not even a question. And so she's doing what she loves because she saw me do what I love, and that's really that, that's very satisfying to watch her. She always she grew up watching us because her dad was like corporate executive route, and then I was follow your heart route. And she didn't like what she saw the corporate executive route, but I have to say that because he did what he did, it allowed me to build a little yoga business. So I'm always going to be grateful to that solid career. Right, but you don't have just a little yoga business now. Oh, I mean, no. you have a six-figure, seven-figure, you know, income going on right now because you've you've you created a you've created a, 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 a an entrepreneurship. You've created a a kingdom in your in your little yoga world. So, I mean, she's been able to see you know a mom with a dream. Yeah create an empire and Jessica is in her twenties now. How old is she? She just got married. She's Thirty I that next month. She's going to be thirty. Yeah. And she's she just got married, you know. And she's starting her own business now too, or has just started her own business now too, they right? They both have this internet marketing thing. She and her husband would do the same thing. So they're, you know, they've got a couple's business now and they're working hard. And yeah, it's not the traditional too. corporate business, right? Yeah, they're in their workout clothes every day, being personal trainers, which is healthy and satisfying and we'll see how it goes. So I'm just happy that she wakes up every day excited like I do about yeah. And I think that when you do wake up every day excited, there's inevitably you have to create success because when you have something that you so passionately believe in, there's there's no way I feel like that can ever fail. Do you? Oh no, because it's every day that makes us happy. It's the every day. It's not like someday when I'm finally, you know, I never say someday when I retire I'm going to be happy because I don't have any plans to retire. This is, right. this is like normal to me. What I do, it's, it's you love it. It's fulfilling. Yeah. So if you had to give, like, I don't know, a couple quick tips to moms who are either just starting out as moms or moms who have kids around that seven to nine-year-old age that your kids were when you started your studio or moms that are teenagers that are, you know, getting, you know, a new second career now or even moms that have kids that have left the house like you have and want to start over, what would you, what would you say? Well, when they're little... Like I would say, you'd ne you're never going to regret that you worked around their schedule and you were at their games and drove them where they needed to go and at their birthday parties. You know, I, I brought them into my work. Uh, there's ways that you can, you'll never regret the time because it goes fast. Um, so that's one tip. Yeah. When, once the kids are out of the house, it's a whole different world. Yeah. So, right, we're juggling when they're underfoot and they're watching us. And also to uh, make sure you stay balanced so you don't snap. You know, like, I'm too busy, I can't talk to you right now because 
I, and I had there was a time when I had to modify my schedule at the studio because Jessica came home from the park and said that some guys wanted to buy her beer. So I said, all right, that's it. I don't work at 5.30 p.m. anymore uh, because I do not trust this. And she's 16, and so I'm going to be home now. I work at 7.30 when Dad gets home. So I modified my schedule because at that crucial time. I wanted yeah, to be I, do, I, I like that. I do a lot of that, too, and that's actually one of the reasons why I wanted to start my new business a couple years ago because I realized that I, I wanted to be that mom that at 3 3 o'clock could stop her day and go to the bus stop and get my daughter and could take her to a gymnastics lesson and watch her jump around and you yeah. know be that person who was you know, 10 o'clock in the morning and they, they say, oh, we've got a Halloween party in our classroom. Like, okay, what mom with a, with a job, a normal job, can walk into school at 10.30? So I love it that I have been able to, just like you, put my daughters on planes with me, travel with me, bring her to classes, bring her to events, and really make her part of my life. And I was even having the conversation with my husband a couple days ago, like, what would it be like if we like sent her to school, but we also had like sort of like a homeschool also, so that way we could like take her out more if we want to, because like she's just she's five, and I want to like love her up as much as I can, but I also want to be able to do what I love and have a career. So like sometimes I'll be working from nine to midnight because that's what you got to do as a mom, so that you can have those hours between four and eight to spend with them, right? Yeah, you just have to take such good care of yourself so you don't get grumpy and too tired to help them with their homework. And you know, that's that's something she sometimes says she wishes I had been more of one of those helicopter parents. I wasn't because when you're working, you're not a helicopter parent. You can't be because she thinks that maybe she would have gotten better grades or something. But look, she's so happy now. So maybe the independence was exactly what she needed. Exactly. So I, exactly. I can't even have any regrets about that. She's yeah. very very successful now. Yeah, that's great. Well, Desiree, I want to thank you for just giving us a little bit of your time. I know you're super busy and always on the road, and it's, I'm just so grateful that you know I could spend some time with you and that other people could spend some time with you and get to know you if they don't know you already. So thank you so much. Do you want to tell everybody where they can find you, where you know your website, social media that you have, or anything that they can follow you and while you're doing right now? Yeah, my website is my name, DesireeRumbaugh.com, and my DVDs are on there, and I'm writing a book, and so I'm excited about the future. And just if you want to ever come and meet me, you can see my schedule there. Yeah, and if you guys have not been to one of Desiree's yoga classes, I mean, she is the guru. She is one of the best teachers probably in the world right now. So you you got to make sure that you look up her schedule because she's on the road every week, 50, 50 weeks a year. <laughs> and you got to get to one of her intensive. She's awesome. Thanks, Haley. All right, I will be looking to see where I can see you next in this world. <laughs> and thank you so much for, for joining us today. Okay, thank you. Have a great day.